Welcome to the girls. Another great episode we have in store for them, huh, Janine? Yes, it's our 10th anniversary. We see people out and they say, we love your show. And I said, well, good, because now we're into our new season. So you'll see some new episodes uh, that we have here. They, they like the chit chat in the beginning, which is funny to me, like little things that they say that we do and stuff. Um, yeah. Well, I'm just really uh, impressed by your library that I didn't know you had in your house there. Oh, it's isn't just, it fancy? You have all this fancy stuff. Look at all I the know. books you've and read. the sun coming in from the yeah. from the north. <laughs> yeah, and in any minute in uh, in Cuttingham Valley, we could have snow, sleet, rain. You know, it's yeah. the whole nine yards because it's the crazy time of the year. Well, it's nuts because you know it's it's going to be Easter and. My timing was off this, this, and people can relate you, you time your hair appointments and your nail appointments around special events. Look at those suckers. Look at that. <laughs> and I have, you know, I showed that crayon before that I use on my hair, like to fill it in. I need a box of crayons to fill this baby in. So tomorrow is my hair appointment. So you're stuck with you're stuck with the roots today, but look at at least they're not all gray. Yeah, but Janine, the roots are in. Didn't you yeah. see how people have like the six inch roots of hair? I don't yeah. have roots. There's no roots going on here. I have like well, yeah, it's that uh, it's that age where the blonde hair gets blonder. I like it. I like yeah, it. Just and the then blonde. and then. I've been doing my own nails for like five years. You've been doing your own nails. I have been doing my nails my whole life. I have the dip nail polish. So I'm like, oh, I'll do my nails real quick before this. Well, I'm trying to multitask and I dipped the nail polish into the acetone. Oh no. So now my nails are like half, half blue, half peeling. So I'm a hot mess today. Janine. My makeup's all right, look, I think. But you look great. You look it's great. That's so funny yeah. though. I, I jinxed funny. myself because I, I usually do it real quick. The dip, I have it but down pat and I went to clean the brush and I didn't think about it. And I put the acid on. I'm like, why is this peeling off? You're taking it off instead of putting it on. Yeah. Well, I just want to make a comment about the great night we had at your house. The one night you invited yeah. me over for craft night. And, um, I had never been to your craft night because I'm like, well, not in your girlfriend groupie, but <laughs> it was really funny to just sit there and listen to your age group, you know, talking about things. And we had so much fun because you had all these corks that you had saved from your wine bottles. I didn't have any because I don't drink, but had I known, I could have had a blast, you know, getting them. Uh, but anyhow, how, how are your burns on your fingers from the glue gun? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Because you... <laughs> and and I would I like to around. point out that and I was, I was talking about this yesterday, all of my friends, most of my friends that live in the general area, they're all older than I am. So they, they think it's <laughs> funny uh, because now I'm trying uh, this year is the year where I can't really see that good close. So they're laughing and stuff, but uh, my fingers, I only have two. I had one big blister that I popped. And uh, the good news is, is that the trivets are looked amazing and the picture frames looked amazing. So I don't know if anyone does this, but um, once a month, my girlfriends and I, we get together at someone's house and we do a craft, you know, obviously we make food or buy food. Of course, I got my food from Frankie's and it was delicious because I'm oh, I know it was so steak nice. and cheese stromboli, which we can't have on Good Friday, but it was to die for. And we had our event on Thursday. So it was yum, yum, yum. yum yeah, yum. I know. I think I spent more time in the kitchen with the pizza. Yeah. How That's many my pieces did you have? I, just, I think I had four, but that was over the course of five hours. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty good. Like I ever, it was averaging one, one an hour, That's okay. but I started off really, really good. I had, I planned on just eating real healthy that night. And How about I started my Easter with your vegetable, vegetable tray? That's what I was going to talk about. So we walk in and Janine has this great table with all this stuff on to snack on. And she has the cutest rabbit, which I hope you show a picture of. I'm going in out of all the vegetables. Yeah. So it's like, oh, isn't that pretty? She goes, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Nobody could touch it until everybody's here and everybody saw it. So now I was early and so was Michelle. And we're sitting there and we're like, oh, 
Oh, this wrapper looks so good. We like I have a vegetable. Eat. Don't touch that vegetable. Don't touch that vegetable. So they go, go in the refrigerator and eat them. Don't touch the rabbit. <laughs> so they're eating vegetables out of a plastic bag. I could touch the pretty ones. And God forbid I want to touch the hummus. So, uh, yeah. Well, that was it, the face. Yeah, I know. People can relate to this. You have a party and you do something like a little fancy for, for me anyway. That was fancy. And you can't touch it till everyone sees it in the group. Yeah, well, everybody came and saw it and then we pulled a fast one on you. We didn't eat it. We were like, <laughs> no, now, now we don't want to touch it because you said don't touch it. But it was really fun. Yeah, the girls are really nice. You have a very nice group of girls, I must yes, say. Yes, I really do. Fun. Speaking fun, of, fun. we have two awesome ladies joining us. One is Kelly Billig, and she is from the area. Aside from what she's talking about today, which is a big event going on in the Wilkesbury area that everyone is invited to, she actually has these parties where you can paint or craft. So uh, we mm -hmm. actually did one with her too, but she's our guest coming up in Allison Hightower. Uh, they're going to be talking about this event. Um, again, it's time to get back out there get the fresh air going, um, have some fun in Northeastern Pennsylvania. So when we come back, we have the two girls on with us. So stay with us. You're watching the girls here on SSP TV. Welcome back. You're watching the girls here on SSP TV. It is our 10th anniversary and we haven't been highlighting Wilkesbury as much, and we're glad to be doing that, the Wilkesbury area. We're glad to be doing that today with our guests, Kelly Billig and Allison Hyde Tower. They are from the Leadership Northeast Group Team Busy. Getting busy with it, right, girls? Easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look so at wore a bee, on. I wore a B top. You see the colors? And your name Black is Deb B. And my name is Deb B, you know, so, so we're wow. good. We're this great. Is all for you. This is all for you. And I have little flowers on. So, all right, enough of that. Kelly, tell us about Leadership Northeast and what it's all about. So what Leadership Northeast is about, uh, it's about serving the community and helping, um, helping where we can. So um, we all come together and we get to hear about different things that the community of Wilkes-Barre may need um, or surrounding areas that, that we'd need. And teams are formed and then we are able to decide what we would like to do and where we would like to serve and help. And that's what we did. We chose um, downtown Wilkes-Barre to revitalize the area. And we thought it would be fun to bring some interactive art to downtown while also supporting the downtown businesses. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, what are some of the programs that you're offering with the art? We are doing an interactive mural. So um, the, the muralist is Have a Art Mural. And what they, um, they're going to be doing, um, from what I understand, giant beatings, kind of where you can stand in front of the mural and tag yourself in it. Oh, cool. And then we're also doing a sculpture. Uh, Scott Nichols is the sculpturist, and it's a beehive that you can actually move the little bees around the hive and, and things of that sort. So it's just kind of, um, you know, something fun to, to get kids interested in art and, uh, you know, like I said, revitalize the downtown a little bit. Now, Allison, what's your role? How did you get involved with Leadership Northeast? Um, I've actually been wanting to do it for quite some time and my company, my, the company that I work for, you know, just put out uh, an email and said, whoever, if anybody's interested, you know, and they provided my, my Scott, like the money for me to attend. So I uh, I wanted to do it for quite a long time. One of the things that I've gotten to this point also out of it is we have classes once a month, um, like full days and just different all different topics and it really does enhance your skills on like becoming a better leader okay so this is an actual leadership course does it have a certain length of time that it runs or is it something that you attend for the entire year how does that work it's pretty much the like like the same duration as a school year we started like we had i think our first meeting in august and then we'll finish in june but it's once a month, like the first Thursday of every month, we attend like a full day, like 
class seminar. The event that you're talking about, which we'll get into detail later, is April 23rd. That is open um, to the community. Uh, but talk a little bit about um, the people, the kind of people that are involved in the group, what their backgrounds are, and um, what you're hoping to do overall, um, not only for Wilkes-Barre, but for Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we have seven members of our group. Right, Kelly. Um, there are three of us that are involved working in like more or less like somewhat the education system. Um, we have uh, insurance, um, more like some business background, you know, um, community worker. So it's it just in, it varies like our group is. But we had a commonality of wanting to do something to benefit the lives of children. And when you look at, you know, going through the pandemic and also trying to work and kind of sort your own life out and business life out now on top of that, you know, we have to worry about, uh, you know, people volunteering because that was something that people did a lot of hands on before the pandemic. How has it been working through the pandemic and has it been challenging trying to find volunteers to help you or are more people eager to get out and help? I think more people are, are eager. I think they want to come out. They want to help, um, you know, kind of get back to a little bit of normalcy in everyone's life. So it has been a really positive experience seeing everyone come together and, you know, do what you need to do and follow the guidelines you need to follow, but still um, be able to, to do such great work in, within the community. It really has just been unbelievable. What has been the reaction from the community to some of the projects that you've done are they very responsive to the community? Do they get involved in the things that you hold? Yeah, the community has been very responsive. We went to the mayor's office and we had a little sting campaign going. So you could sting people. Uh, we would come in, we would set up signs that you're supporting the arts in downtown Wilkes-Barre. So um, we went to a, a bunch of different businesses and places. Uh, like I said, the mayor was one of them. Um, Bakery Delight we did. Um, there, there were, you know, people that would just kind of put it out there that they would like this place stung or their relative stung and everybody just seemed to be um, running with it. They, they really had a good time with it. That sounds like fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good that we're keeping art alive. That is one area I think that we lack the most in the Northeastern part, like where we're at is, you know, art and expression and getting the youth involved. So that's something that's going to be, uh, very creative for families to come out of any age and be able to participate in, you know, a fun, clean, healthy event. Um, it's going to be outside. So when we come back, we'll talk about Leadership Northeast. It's an event that's going to be happening in downtown Wilkes-Barre. Everyone's invited to come out and celebrate, you know, being outdoors, getting back to some normalcy and um, also the art here in northeastern Pennsylvania. So stay with us here on the girls on FSP TV. Welcome back to the girls. We're speaking with our representatives here from the Leadership Northeast, and we're Allison and Kelly. And we've been finding out that there are going to be some great things to do in the Wilkes-Barre area. But anyhow, you have a contest going on, which is uh, kind of exciting. Would you like to tell us about that, Kelly? Sure. We uh, had gone down to the storefronts in Wilkes-Barre and painted roughly 20 storefronts with bees and flowers, things of that sort. So you're encouraged to go and patronize these businesses. Um, go down, take a look at the artwork that was painted on there. And if you choose five of the different stores. You could just take a picture of the five different storefronts that you find with the little bees in them. And if you um, email us the five pictures or tag us in them, then you are entered into a drawing to win a hundred dollar gift card from Boscogs. That's neat. That sounds like how yeah. did your group decide to come up with the name Team Beezy and the whole like theme behind it? We chose to have Team Beezy because we are be you know doing like our project within Wilkes-Barre City. So that's how we came up with that. That's very sweet, right? Now, will you have other educational things there for um, the public? Like what, what all are some of the events that will occur? 
Um, well, we are going to have um, obviously the presentation, of, like a ribbon cutting of the art, the interactive pieces of art that are being put in, put in downtown Wilkes Fair. Um, it's going to be in the Midtown Village. So um, we are going to have a face painter, um, a balloon twister, beekeepers' daughters coming, um, free wildflower um, seed kits. Um, we are having a story time with a guest character and a bee making costume station for all the kids. So how many people are you expecting to this? And then what is the, you know, what is the idea of uh, continuing this on? Like what's your, what's the concept going to be? Are other groups going to do things throughout um, the summer to keep the revitalization alive? Well, we could hope for that. Um, that I can't, we can't say for sure, you know, okay. what's going to continue on with it. Um, but we would hope for that just, you know, to really inspire other individuals or other groups to like promote the arts, you know, throughout the downtown and, and the Kelly, Northeast as a whole. Yes. Yes. Kelly, I know that you, you know, you do a lot of these arts and crafts and, and painting. So tell us a little bit about that as your background and how you're kind of incorporating that into um, your piece of this project. We actually um, were very, very lucky. Redonos on the square was gracious enough to donate their back room to us. And I actually conducted a paint party there at Redonos. And that's where um, we got a good amount of fundraiser money to actually kick off the project. And, um, you know, our team came together and decided on different things that we could do. Uh, we did yoga. Um, and, you know, raise the funds from that. That was one of the other team members, um, Allison, where she works, they had a dress down day and they donated that money. So we all kind of, like I said, came together and, um, you know, tried to, to get the funding put together, but yeah, it was, it was really nice of Rodano's to bring us in there and let us do uh, our big paint thing in the back. And, uh, you know, it was just a nice way to kind of partner up with the businesses that we're trying to help down there. Now you mentioned about raising money. Do you charge for any of these? When people come there, is there a charge to participate in any of the events that are there? The events that are going down, um, that are going to be in downtown on the 23rd, all of them are free. It's a free event, the ribbon cutting celebration. So the seed packets and the beekeeper's daughter and the, um, you know, story time and the little bee costumes, you know, that they'll be making, um, all of that is all for free. That's and this amazing. is happening April 23rd, 1 to 3 p.m. in Midtown Village. Uh, where exactly is that if someone isn't familiar with the Wilkes-Barre area? Um, it's in between, like, say, Boscov's. Okay, so the and, downtown? Yeah, right downtown. It's um, across the, it's like between Boscov's and Thai. Okay. Thai Thai? Like in that, it's, it, Katana used to be in there. I don't know if that's would trigger well, the about. Square. Like, so you're talking about the square know. where King's College is and uh, the. Uh, but yes, but it's down further. Like it's okay. not right on the square. So like it's like I said, it's on South Main Street, but it's in between Boscov's and like Thai. Um, mm -hmm. So do you have volunteers now that come and help you with this? And do you need volunteers? Can people reach you or get in touch with you if there's anything that they that you need donated or to volunteer for this? I was speaking with one of our team members this morning and he asked, um, he asked me if I would reach out to some of my coworkers, maybe some family members, because of course, you know, we might need some help with, um, you know, people handing out the seed packets and people helping to manage the little bee costume station, because we don't know, we, you know, we have no idea how many people will be coming. So we would rather be overprepared than underprepared. There are um, connections that obviously people can get in contact with you. Um, talk about like your Facebook page, how they contact you if they wanted to get involved. Maybe someone is interested in Leadership Northeast. Maybe they have talent that they can bring and provide uh, to help with the growth of, of this event or with other events through Leadership Northeast. And that would be great. We, um, we do have a Facebook page and our Facebook page is Team BZ leadership northeast and then we have um our contact info is team busy l n e at gmail.com or when we were talking about that contest it's hashtag busy in wb 
And this could be like any age, right? Or are there specific ages mm-hmm. that you're looking for? No, we're just, um, we're just happy to have people come out and, and see what we've been working so hard for all year. That would be a real fun day for like a Cub Scout, Girl Scouts, you know, all those different groups that they're looking for little field trips and things for the kids too to take them out. And uh, you had mentioned before, Kelly, I believe about the Blind uh, Association Community Services for Sight that you have uh, done some painting workshops with them as well. So there are different organizations that you can reach out to uh, within your organization that are really um, helpful as well, right? Yes, that would be great. We would love that. We love working with everyone in the community. Is this the first event that the group has had, or is this just the first event that your group inside the group has had? If that makes sense. <laughs> well, all like each of the groups is like out of all like the 42 individuals, they're split into groups. Okay. For leadership. And this is like this, this project is like a year long, the school, like the school year long thing, like it leads up to this. Okay. So you're working from the beginning. You're when we first started, we're paired into our groups. We're deciding on a project and then it's pretty much what we're working on throughout the whole school year of leadership. So it's a collaborative effort again, April 23rd, one to 3 PM in Midtown village in Wilkesbury. Um, we were saying a special hello to all of our viewers in the Wilkesbury mountaintop area. We're seen on channel 92 um, on cable there. So hello to you. And we're on 7 to 11 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. So if you are watching in that area, we want to say a special shout out to our friends there um, in Kingston as well. It's been really nice visiting with you and chatting with you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy, busy, busy B day. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for, for having us. us. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, it's we'll been see our you pleasure. next time right here on The Girls.